Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joe. In this video, I am going to show you uh, my NFL player uh, sim tool. Uh, what this tool does is it simulates uh, a whole full game of like fantasy points for the whole slate of, of players, 100 to maybe five or 10,000 times, um, whichever you choose. I'm going to run through how to use the tool uh, and show you the reports that it spits out. But by, by the end, what it'll do, it'll, it'll show you the results of all the simulations and like how many times they made value, their ceiling, their floor, and so on. So uh, to start off, what you need to do is you have to get projections into this tab, into this projections tab. You could either do it by, if you have your own projection, you could just copy and paste the columns in here. You can enter up the 400 players. Or I'm going to clear the sheet here. You could enter into the stats from DFF. That's uh, Daily Fantasy Fuel. And that's right here. To do that, we're going to go to NFL Player Projections. And here's the latest one. I'm just going to click Download Projections as a CSV file. And what it's going to do, it's going to open up their projections. This, this is just, uh, you can use any projections. This is just one of the better ones that I like to use. And then when it takes it, spits it out, you're going to copy the whole column, all the column S, copy. And then we're going to go back into here and paste it into this tab. Once you paste it in, we're going to copy from the DFF tab. And what it's doing now, it's copying the data over. And then we want to run the, the standard deviations uh, again. The standard deviation is kind of like the range of outcomes you can get for, for a player. Uh, if they average 10 points a game, two players can average 10 points a game. One player may have high and low outcomes, like sometimes they'll score 30, sometimes they'll score zero. Or a player could average 10, but always get like around 10, maybe sometimes 11, sometimes 9. That's where standard deviation comes into play to kind of show how the players do. And I've got a tab right here that it pulls from. These are the standard deviations uh, from last year that they'll use. And if the player is a rookie or wasn't in last year's stats, what it's going to do, it's going to pull a standard deviation based on the average by position. So say a running back who averages over 10 points fantasy points a game but less than 20 will will their standard deviation is usually 55% of what their average points per game are so if they average 10 points a game the standard devi deviation is roughly 5.5 so that's what it'll use you can go in here and change this as much as you want and I'll I'm sure I'll be updating this as we get more games in, into the current season or you can you can um, adjust this too to um to your liking so all you have to do is generate standard deviations, and it's going to pull over the standard deviation. And now you got all your players ready, ready to go. You got your projections, and you got your standard deviation. We go into the main tab. You click how many lineups you want to run: a hundred, a thousand, or five thousand. I'm just going to run a hundred, and it's going to simulate a hundred games for all of these players. And it's going to it's going to take a few seconds. If you do a thousand or five thousand, it's obviously going to take um take a longer. And so now it's it's running. You gotta you gotta let this run. And then when it's all done, it's gonna do. It's gonna take you to a reports page right here. So here's all the players. They got their salaries. Here's what their um, projection was. Here's their ceiling. I mean, you notice some of the ceilings are pretty high. Um, that's just because we run run so many games, uh, so many simulations. And then here's their odds of getting four times their salary, five times, or six times their salary. Five times their salary means if it's a $10,000 player, how often do they score 50 points? And usually this is kind of if they get 5x their salary, um, usually is they'll get probably would be making an optimal lineup. But you can look at the 6x, even the 7x salary. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the 5x. I'm going to go and sort this descending. And here's the, Jimmy G is the highest one. Then Chad Beebe, Byron Pringle. Uh, looks like some receivers are pretty high that are low-priced guys. Uh, then down to Jalen Hurts and so on. You can play, pick, go to here too, running backs equals true. So we're only looking at running backs. And actually the highest one is Alex Collins here. Is the highest uh, five, uh, five X. So maybe that might be a good play. Jonathan Taylor is pretty high. Uh, McCaffrey, of course, is, is pretty high. Rex Burkhead. Uh, and so on. So these are just based on what their uh, 
average their simulations were based on their salary. If you want to check 6x, then here, Rex Burkett is, is the uh, the highest one here. And actually, uh, if you look at 7x, it looks like Smaj P. Ryan at 4% uh, time. I mean, that's not too much, but we'll get 7%. Now, say if we want to clear that, if we want to look at wide receivers, here's our top wide receivers. I'm going to sort it again. Um, it looks like it's mostly low-priced guys here. But you can just look at it however you want. Um, if you want to sort again by the salary, you can look at their top guys and see how often maybe they get four times their salary. Because if you're getting 8,000, like see Devontae Adams, 8,300, you got to make about 33 points to get four times their salary. So it looks like in 21% of the games that I simulated, he makes four times his salary. Um, but only 3% of the games will he make uh, three, th five X, but that's like 41 points. So you don't expect 41 points too often. Uh, other than like Tyler Lockett has quite a bit here, 15% of the time he's getting five X. So that could be a good play. So this is kind of what the tool does. You could even filter it down by team. Say if you want, say Atlanta and Green Bay, you want those two teams. Maybe you're just playing a showdown. You just want to look at those two games. You can uh, just filter those two teams. So that's what the simulation tool will do. Uh, it should help you in making your decisions, picking, um, picking lineups, and uh, hope this helps. So check out my tool at optimizelineup.com. Um, there should be a link below this video. And uh, if you get any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks a lot.